Today we let our mouths be our GPS. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Mythical beasts, if you like vending machines and also eating the things that are vended from said machines, mm -hmm. then you're in luck, because today we're gonna be eating an entire meal made only from vending machine food. Yay. Plus, we're gonna be kidnapped and dropped at random locations on Earth and try to figure out where we are. Virtually, that is. But first, your food is lying to you. It's time for Where, where in the World Do These Misleading Foods Come From? All right, here's what we're gonna do, Rhett. We are gonna taste a well-known dish that either claims to be from or would seem to be from a certain place, but actually is not. Then we will guess where it was actually invented by throwing a dart. Yes! Don't do it yet. That place on the map. And then Chase will do what he always does. He'll measure who is closest to the actual place. And Chase, I gotta say, your already small shirt seems to have gotten smaller. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's a small world. <laughs> oh, Chase. Chase was sitting on that one. He's, he, he's incubating that egg. <laughs> Okay. For quite a while. Again, the lowest cumulative distance wins like always, and the winner gets an all-expense-paid trip to another part of the room! Ooh, look at that. Ooh, that's wow. amazing. One seat in solidarity over there, get a little alone time. Yeah. Also, since I am notoriously bad at this game and have never once won, is that true? I've never uh, No, 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 I think you've... Maybe, I, yeah, maybe right. I've won never once. won once. You won once. Long ago. That's what I thought. Times. But you've lost a lot. Well, today I, I brought a secret weapon. Oh, Caesar salad. You know, we don't have to eat, but you but know. We should. We you should. know, it's a great breakfast food. Now, Caesar salad, you would think it was from Rome, right? But that would be wrong. That's because these are misleading foods. So that's why they put Italy up there. So you're not going for Italy. Now I know that traditionally they put anchovies in the, uh, the dressing. A lot of people don't know that. They put anchovies in the dressing. <laughs> fun fact. Who are you looking at? You're looking for some I'm just sort of looking support. at the, I'm looking at the people who care about fun facts. Um, and that, I don't know. It, golly. This feels like it could have like a Latin America influence with the anchovies, like a Latin American country that has access to the ocean. Right. <laughs> Brazil. Going for Brazil, huh? Oh, <sighs> leaning in, going a little high. Okay. Right in the ocean. <sighs> All right, now for me, hmm. <sighs> I, Red, I want to introduce you to a friend of mine before I throw my dart. Russ, come on in here. I want you to meet my friend Russ right over here. Hey, Russ, good to see you good again. Good to see you. Russ, me and Russ been hanging out. He's just a friend of mine. I, Why does he have a shirt that says Championship Darts Corporation on it? <laughs> well, because he's just a friend, but he, he does happen to also be a professional oh, dart. Oh, come friend. on, Link. <laughs> this is what you've resorted to? And I just, I was just, <laughs> I was just curious if I could let my friend, who might just happen to know how to throw darts really well. Okay, you deserve it. He you might deserve it. He might have even brought his own dart, oh, better than ours. Really? He brought his own freaking darts? To throw the dart. Okay. I'm excited to see this. Do your worst, Russ. All right, Russ Lysak, my best friend, good old buddy, old pal. What, what do you think we should throw? Wherever you want. I'm thinking France. I think it's just a slight deviation from what the normal expectation would be. Now that's small, man. It's small. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> All right, go for France. Oh, you were a little low. A little low, but closer than him. <laughs> and a lot closer than I would have been. Okay. I'm not I'll being right. picky. <laughs> All right, so let's see. What do we what? got? Right. Okay. Caesar salad was invented by restaurateur Caesar Cardini. According to legend, he invented it on the 4th of July in 1924 when he ran out of most ingredients and had to make something with whatever he could find in Mexico. <laughs> Woo! Off to a great start! Are you freaking kidding me? Rhett, you had 21. Lincoln Russ, you had 35. <laughs> All right! 21's less than 35. Hawaiian pizza. pizza. Ho okay, yeah, Hawaiian pizza. Oh, yeah. Not just pizza. I see that now. Okay. This is a controversial pizza. That you would think was from Hawaii. But that's not even a not choice. Not even an option. 
We have to throw it right at Chase's nipple to hit Hawaii. Do you have a Hawaii tattoo on your nipple, Chase? I don't. I can do that. No, no. Okay. Um, so I'm going first. You mean Russ is going first. Old buddy, old pal, Russ. Yep. <laughs> hey, man, good to see you good again. Good to see you, Thanks too. for coming back. No worries. I'm really glad you're here. Yep. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking the closest thing to Hawaii is Australia. But I think you need to go the western edge of Australia, if, if I'm being specific. So if I'm wrong, at least I'm closer to all the other stuff on the board, because that's a risky place. All mm. right, so you want Australia on the left side? Yeah. Western Australia. That's good. That's what I wanted. Okay, great. Perfect, Russ. <laughs> Me and Russ go way back. Man, I think you're onto something with Australia. There, there. They got some upside down decisions down there. You think I'm right, huh? I mean, I feel like a good guess would be Australia or Canada, actually. Australia just has the, it feels right. It feels right to me. So now it's just, are you better? But I'm gonna do it with confidence. I'm gonna hit Western Australia, and it's actually gonna be Western Australia. That's fine. Try it. Oop. I'm gonna hit Southern Australia. Dang, Russ. Okay. I hope I'm wrong. Hawaiian pizza was invented in 1962 at the Satellite Restaurant by Sam Panopoulos in Canada. Oh, oh yes! We got it, Russ! Uh, <laughs> we, we didn't look good doing it. We got it, Russ! <laughs> We're really wrong, but less wrong than Rhett! All right, Lincoln Russ, you had 70. Rhett, you had 84. Oh, so that ties us right now at 105. Ooh, the suspense. Whoa. <laughs> mm. This looks good. Yeah. You're not supposed to have this. Yeah, you guys need to take a class on what not to give Link. Okay. Chicken Kiev. Now Kiev is a place in Russia. Russia. All right, Ray, uh, you're gonna go first. What are you thinking at this point? Russia's a big spot. I feel maybe like they're maybe they're tricking us. Exactly. Oh yeah? Exactly. I feel like there's one of these that's gonna be from the place that it is, is a, as a curve ball. Mm -hmm. But. Curved dart. So I think this is from Russia. Because who else is gonna be like, oh, let's get in on this chicken key up thing. Right? But I could be wrong. What wrong. are you talking about, Rhett? You can never be wrong. I'm going to do the left side of Russia. Call that the West. West, West Russia. Because it could also be a European country that this kind of slipped into. You know what I'm saying? And this is a protective throw. It's a protective throw. Strategic throw for the Retster going West for Russia. Left Russia. Okay. Okay, there it is. Okay, um, I'm gonna grab this dart, even though, of course, I'm not gonna throw it because I'm bringing my good friend Russ. Yeah. Lysek. Coming in. Okay. All right. Russ, you, since you guys are such good friends, what kind of stuff do you guys do together? <laughs> Uh, we hang out all the time, almost every weekend. <laughs> every weekend, huh? He, he throws darts, I read poetry. <laughs> all right, he went for left Russia. Let's go bold, or go home, you know what I'm wow. saying? I gotcha. Back to your home, you got a great pad. There you go. Um, I'm thinking, this looks like French cuisine to me. I think there's some Frenchness in this. Oh. So you wanna go France? I wanna go France. Okay, here we go. Woo! He freaking hit France! Yeah, there we go. What? No, he hit Italy. It, Italy? Italy? Okay, Italy. very close, Russ. You did not let me down. There but did go. I let us down? Okay. Chicken Kiev is big in Russia and the Ukraine. And by the way, Kiev is the capital of Ukraine. Uh, but that's only because during the early 1900s, Russian Empress Elizabeth sent chefs over to a certain country to study their cuisine where they learned how to make this dish. And that country is France. Yeah, Russ! <laughs> Okay. I did my part, you did yours. We take the lead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Ukraine. Kiev. Yeah, we just made a lot of people mad. All right. Lincoln Russ, you had two. Oh, that's pretty and good. And Rhett, you had 14. Oh, boom! Falling behind. Oh, you know what they say? As American as apple pie. But we've been wrong all along, Neil. Yep, McLaughlin. <laughs> Mm, that's a good pie. It's nice mm, and warm. Mm. Thank you for that. Yeah, thank you for getting it warm. Mm -hmm. Doesn't always happen on this show. Mm -hmm. Get the crust. That's the best part right here. I think the crust is the best part too. Not that, not that crust, but the crust where the apples are if the apples weren't there. I'd love apple pie if it didn't have apples. Oh gosh. Here we go again. I got like an applesauce pie. Um, Y'all go first, right? We go first. Russ! 
There you go. I'll just there go over here is. and eat the pie. Um, man, Russ. I mean, it's just apples in a pie. That could be anywhere on the globe. Huh. That's what you think. <laughs> Where do apples grow? Apples grow in like cold weather. Mmm. There you go. You know what? I think this is the big old Russia. The big old Russia. There's the big apple. Lots of, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of apples in Russia. Uh, so, all right, I think you need to go for the, for the, uh, for left Russia. Oh, you're gonna do the old left Russia trick, huh? Now, don't go for Great Britain. It, In between the two? I just want... Oh, he's gonna point now. I want you, I want you, I want you to hit right there. Okay. Oh, okay. You need me to keep my finger here? Because I can ask Chase to do <laughs> Exactly. All right. Southern, Western Russia. South Western Russia. Yep, it's a great place. Boom, he nailed it! Wow, okay. Yes, Russ! All right, let's see what he could do. <sighs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't. Don't. Don't taunt me, Russ. <laughs> he just did. Let's see what he can do. <laughs> what are you thinking? I could see this being Italy. You know what? I could see this being Great Britain too, because we get a lot of things from Great Britain. Pr probably a lot of things that we now we claim as our own. In fact, they probably were like, let's start calling apple pie American just to rub it in their faces. You know, back in the revolutionary times. That's a sound argument. You can't say that about your own arguments. There's, there's no way I can actually hit Great Britain, but if I sort of just aim at France, I'm either gonna hit Italy or Great Britain, which are my two guesses. So I'm aiming at France. Ooh, a little shy of Great Britain, a little to the east, but. Okay, apple pie was invented around 1675 Ooh. and first mentioned in a historical document written by poet Robert Greene, who said, thy breath is like the steam of apple pies in Great Britain. Yeah! <laughs> woo, 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 well, woo! But they're better buddy. in Russia. Much better there. <laughs> All right, Rhett, you had five. Lincoln Russ, you had 25. Oh! <laughs> it all comes down to this ice, ice cream. cream. You scream. When I hit Chase with the dart, he screams. <laughs> Chase, have you been much more at ease with me not throwing any darts? Yeah, I really like having Russ here. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice for me. Oh, you should you should hang out with him on the weekends. <laughs> Italy seems like a really strong guess because of the gelatoness. Gelato seems like it could have been like a precursor to ice cream. That would make a lot of sense to me. Neither here nor there. It's not going to be an Asian country because dairy is uh, only recently become. In fact, in China, for instance, the milk industry is booming. Because it's a Booming. new thing? Because they're, like, they're discovering it in, in, in new ways of appreciating dairy. I'm glad you told me that because that was going to be my answer. <laughs> really? Yeah. But this is the kind of thing that could have squirreled its way down to Australia or South Africa as well. And I feel like because I'm in the lead, I need to like triangulate something. I'm just going to throw it in the Indian Ocean. <laughs> it's not the first time I've said that. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, ah! Yeah, a little, a little okay. north. Yeah, this is just a very, it's a protective guess. Man. Just super protective. This is tough. Russ, come on in here. I need some emotional support. You got it. <laughs> Man, this is, here we are again, Russ. Yep. At our wits end. I have no clue where ice cream was actually invented. <laughs> yeah, so that's a we're problem. Gonna, we're gonna play the, we're gonna play the field here. Okay. Just aim for Italy, right in the middle of the board. Aim for Italy. Oh, oh dang, Russ. dang, Russ! All we can do is hope that was the right answer. My boy, aim for Italy. It, I, I think you, I think you're right. It, Italy makes the most sense, but yeah. okay, guys. I'm, An ice cream-like food was first eaten around 618 A.D. when King Tong of Shang had 94 ice men make a dish of buffalo milk, flour, and camphor in the country of. China. China? I freaking was gonna say China! <laughs> You're a mind bender! Hey Russ, come in here. <laughs> All right. What? You guys enjoy yourselves. I'm gonna go sit in my space. There you go. <laughs> Make it official, Chase. What? What is this freaking score? Red at 16 and Lincoln Russ at 28. Well. It's all good. <laughs> oh. 
Russ, <laughs> you know what? We don't we don't need a vacation over there. We no. have each other. That's true. Over here. Friendship's more important mm. than vacation. Well, that's. <laughs> mm. I'll keep watching to see us make an entire dish from just items from a vending machine. This dink it and sink it shirt will look great while you're trying out foods from around the world available at mythical.store.